Hello, I'm Silas from Skahoy. In this video, I would like to show you how you can change your shift levels on configurations like for Atom, VMix, TriCaster uh, to support more than one shift level as we have from default. I guess you uh, might be familiar to our um, blue pill interface we have here. So you add your panels over here, we add devices over here. Uh, pretty simple and we have a lot of videos covering this. So now I have loaded up an Airfly Pro and as you can see here in the simulator, I can press and hold a shift button and then I have another set of uh, sources you can see over here. Um, so what I would like to do is to have more than one shift level. And to do this, uh, I could also explain here on the home screen, we have uh, these ATEM inputs where you set up what sources you see. Um, that's a, a simple way of setting it up. But if you want more than uh, these 12 sources, uh, we can actually change that. So the first thing I'll do is going into configuration tab, uh, our wonderful tool here. I could just align the window a bit. I could actually just press up here and I have the controller. All right, so now uh, we can uh, press the simulation mode and then uh, we have everything ready. I can press the button and it moves. But as you maybe have seen, it also changes up here and over here. And maybe that's not ideal. So what I would like to do is to create a new shift button. We could place it here and then control the row on that. So I will go to the tree over here, open the Airfly Pro configuration, and I will create a new uh, variable here. I do this by clicking the layer go into the variable and I could call that alt shift like this and create. If I look into the default layer, it actually looks empty. That's because uh, it's inherited. So if you are connecting to several item switches, it is reading from the right units. So I need to go up here to have this uh, where it reads from. And I can see that I created two layers today called uh, default and one in the value and in the label, the thing you will see, it's called normal and shift. So we can uh, do the same here. I can go in and set it to options, uh, add two options, default and one, and that is called normal and shift. Let's call that shift one for now. All right. So this is created now and uh, to set that up on a button is actually very simple. So I'll just have to click this button, go into edit, select my variable from the list and press submit. So now I have a variable who's changing on the sides. That's the step change behavior that if I go left, it's shifted. If I go back, it's uh, yeah, uh, it's back on the normal layer. If I want it on a hold down like uh, a shift button often is, you can see now we have a hold down icon. And when I hold it down, it's going to shift it. When I release it, it's going back to normal. Pretty simple. Then we need this row to be changed by that. So I have to go to the tree and find these. They're called Emmy row. And I have to go into this generator to change it. So I will change the variable name to be alt shift and I'll have to do it here. And then you can see the row is now updating. But please be aware we have several places this is used. So I will do the same for the preview row as well. We want these to be changing uh, together. And I also want that for the LEDs. That is where we usually show the color of um, of the source like this. So now I can hold down shift here. It doesn't interfect anything over here. And I can hold down the new shift and then we can see program and preview is updating. So now they are separated on different shifts, but we want to have more than one shift layer. Um, and to solve this, we need first of all to go into the constant sets we have down here and remove the max items we have. I will do this both here 
And here again, we have a two places you can see uh, that's related to how we inherit it from different configs. Now I've cleared out switch your inputs here in here. Uh, and actually, uh, fun note if you see it here, it is the same interface as we have on the home screen. And it is the um, checkbox down here who makes it visible at the home screen. So actually, you could create new. Uh, of these uh, constants uh, if needed uh, and show that as well. All right, uh, so now we have updated these. Uh, what's only missing now might be, let's see, to go up here, look at the generator. Guess it isn't that, it might be Let's just remember, I'm not sitting too often in this part, but we'll have it found in a moment. All right, now I find the right place, so you shouldn't wait for it. So if you have the emi row here, I can press, uh, press the generator. And then we have a, a box that isn't available up here. You can see it if you enable JSON. So there is set a limit, a fixed page count variable. So if I update that, so I, I simply remove uh, this line. Like this. It succeeded. So now I've updated this for program uh, and of course I need to update this as well on uh, the generator for preview and the generator we have here for LED All right, so now we accept more than one page. Uh, I can still press this button, but now nothing happens. And that's because now we, when we allow more than one page, the variable will work in another way. So let's find this one and add a new option. Call that uh, shift. We can just call it two for identifying it now. We have one, we have two. Um, I can go to this button. Why not change it to a step change? Like this. So now I can go to the side. I'm on one, I'm on two. So, uh, so that's how simple it is to change it to stepping on the sides. And then looking at uh, this variable, all shifts, I have it just right here. I could add more options like uh, three and four. And in this way, I've now added the ability to use all of the sources we have in the, in the constant sets on the home screen. So now all of these is available. Um, so I could add a new line here if needed. I could add um, this one and say that it should be the same, but plus one. I could add the color to be pink and override the text if needed and call that test. Let's try that out. Go back to config. And then you can see we have a new one, input one, coming at the end with this pink line. And that works. So that's pretty simple to set up in that way uh, with different levels. The last thing uh, I would like to cover here is if you want to have a button for calling a specific shift layer, then you can do this by setting the variable. Uh, we have also videos on it, but this, uh, this is a bit the same. I can say the, the alt shift functionality. And then instead of step change, I want to use one called set value. And then I can set the value to 
one. I could say the two. Um, yeah, one, that's fine. So whenever I press this button, it will go to one. So this is how simple you can modify your emi row and then you can build it up as you like to if you need more than one shift level or whatever could be your case. This is the way to enhance the awesome constant set from the home screen and bring the value completely out where you need it. Thank you for your time and have a lovely day.